I used to go to Japanese school every Sunday. We had like field day, there was like musical thing. It was terrible and also really fun and there was like the equivalent of like a bake sale essentially, but instead of like cookies, it was also like sushi. And you know, sushi was one of the things that I spent all my money on because they're tasty. <laughs> you didn't experience that? and I'm co-chef at Karasu in Brooklyn. And today we're gonna to be making bento boxes. Bento boxes are basically just Japanese lunch boxes. Normally you put in foods that hold easily and are gonna taste good cold. The idea is that you're packing either the night before or in the morning and you're gonna eat it later in the day. In Japan, a complete meal is colorful, aesthetically pleasing, and hits all those different elements that you want to feel full and nourished from. Today, we're making a pretty basic bento. We're gonna do a couple different kinds of onigiri, which is rice balls, a soy cured egg, some salmon, and some quick pickles and fresh veggies. Okay, because the eggs take the longest, we'll cook those first, and then we'll move right into cooking our fish. So for soy cured eggs, we want to drop it into salted boiling water. You kinda wanna be gentle with it. We'll set a timer for seven and a half minutes. So we're just gonna cut some salmon, one piece of filet, and then a little bit of belly. Cut it into little pieces that are gonna fit into our little boxes. This is a great belly. So like, the color is so different, you can see. The regular side of the filet is really, really red because it has less fat, but it's like super light and pink here. This is also kind of like slightly cured. I always throw salt and sugar on salmon when it's raw and let it sit for an hour, wash it off, and then I use it just because it kind of loses some of the moisture. And then we just pop these into the broiler. That's like pretty much cooked. Great, so how long was that? Like a few minutes? It doesn't take long. I mean, I want it to be like almost entirely cooked. Just cook it to like how you like it. For a bento, I like it more cooked than not. So I like a mix of fresh, pickled, and cooked vegetables in a bento. These shishitos are pretty nice, so I thought it would be fun just to like get them a little bit blistered. No oil, just straight into the pan. Great. So we'll just take these out. I'm gonna throw some shiitake in here too, just to like cook them a little bit. We're gonna chop them up and this is gonna go into the mixed rice. Great, these are done. We'll just let those cool off. So we just took the eggs out and threw them in an ice bath, and then we're just gonna wait to let them cool a little bit, and then we'll peel them. So your basic cure for a soy cured egg is one part soy and two parts water, so three parts overall. You just pour it over, and you wanna use a bowl that's gonna be big enough for them to kind of like float around, because if they're all pressed up against each other, you're gonna have little like white dots. They're really good after two to three days, but at least 24 hours. So that's your soy cured egg. So this is the easiest pickle that you can ever make. All you need is probably 30 minutes, some fresh vegetables, salt, and sugar. It's called asazuke, which is a shallow pickle. I'm using Japanese cucumbers. I'm just gonna do little medallions. Is there a trick to like cutting round things that where they don't fly everywhere? <laughs> like, they're just always gonna fly somewhere. This is a Japanese eggplant. Unlike the cucumbers, it has like an incredibly high water content. You can eat this raw. It's really sweet. The skin is really thin. This is maybe my favorite summer vegetable. I wouldn't use an American big one. They're bitter. The skin is like so thick, it's just not gonna have the same thing. If you don't have access to a Japanese eggplant, just use a different vegetable. You can use cabbage, radishes, Again, this is a shallow pickle, so we're adding salt and sugar pretty much in equal parts. It's probably like three tablespoons, something like that. I'm just mixing it so that everything is coated. And look, you can already see a lot of the waters coming out of it. So now we're just gonna let this sit. For the rice, I like variety just because it's like fun. So I'm gonna do a couple of different kinds. So we have our shiitake that we cooked off earlier and hijiki seaweed. You can just buy this dried. We're gonna cook this with a little bit of soy sauce. And then I have some cured Sancho peppercorns that I bought already cured. So we're just gonna cook the hijiki. It's just straight dried hijiki. You can get this at an Asian food store. 
I have just some water. I'm just gonna add, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce just to add a little bit of extra flavor. I'm gonna throw this in now. You don't have to wait for it to boil. You just have to get it mixed in. And then I'm just gonna kind of let that be just to get ready for the rice mixing. I want like a really fine chop on this because you want a cohesive bite. You want the perfect bite for every bite. And onigiri is like the Japanese sandwich. <laughs> like every bite is perfect. This is a quart of cooked rice at Karasu. And also in life, we use the mix of brown rice vinegar, rice vinegar, water, sugar, salt. And this is just like a pantry item. And then you always have it for seasoned rice. That was what, like a tablespoon for a quart of cooked rice. So when you're adding any vinegar, it's going to sink to the bottom. So you want to make sure you're turning it. And you also don't want to crush your rice, so you're cutting it. Great. So that's our seasoned rice. So we're just gonna strain the hijiki. Great, hijiki. Okay, so I'm gonna use hijiki, shiitake, and then some of these little arima sancho peppercorns. And this is something that you buy. The sancho peppercorn is like the Japanese version of a Sichuan peppercorn. And this, you can use whatever you want. You can throw some carrot in here for color. This just sounds like earthy and tasty to me, so that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> this is something that my grandmother taught me, and I'm sure every Japanese grandmother teaches everyone. <laughs> you wanna add extra salt. So, I just put water on my hands, a little bit of salt on my fingers, just like whatever sticks to your like pointer finger, essentially, is all you need. And then you grab a handful of rice, and it's gonna be a little bit hard to do this, because there's stuff in the rice. You need to think about your hand as being like three planes, right? So it's like flat here, flat on the bottom, and flat on your palm. So that's like, you're making three sides with this, and then your other hand is making the other two sides. So you're like coming in, squishing, and making a triangle, and turning, so you get kind of like an even shape. And look, things are flying everywhere, and it's beautiful. Great, so I got six out of that. So for the inari, inari zushi is what this is called when it's formed into a rice. But this is aburage. It's fried tofu. And when it's fried, it gets this kind of pocket in the middle. You pull it apart very gently. Just a little bit of water on your hands again so it doesn't super stick to you. And I'm just taking like a little handful of rice. And then we're just gonna take this and tuck it inside. And then you just fold it over. And that's it. So this shallow pickle is ready. It's been sitting for 30 minutes. I'm just squeezing out some of the extra water. Like, look at all of that that's coming out. So now we're just assembling. Oh, I almost forgot about this salmon. There's so many things here. <laughs> These are bento boxes. They come in all manner of shapes and sizes. You're just making like a, a cute little thing. Put some of the pickles in here. It's like an art project. Like I said before, I think color is key to making a bento pretty. And then our egg. This is umeboshi that I just bought. We have some fresh snap peas, tomatoes. I'm gonna do one piece of the salmon filet and then a little bit of belly. And then we just have some cute little flowers to add. That's it. That's all my things. <laughs> you can just close them up like this. Look, it's done. <laughs> it's lunchtime. So pretty. Okay, so before you eat though, in Japanese you have to say, Itadakimasu. <laughs> itadakimasu. Yeah, itadakimasu. What does that mean? That like it that? just means, oh, yeah. I'm ready to enjoy this. Like. <laughs> Pickles are my favorite. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> What are, the, what are these? Those are pickled plums. Oh, it looks so weird. So, <laughs> well, yeah, they've been like lacto fermented. They're really sweet, really sour, really salty. Wow. It's like really intense. Yeah. There's a pit in there though, be careful. <laughs> That's a bento. <laughs>